Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. And I was just thinking about life before I got married. And how wild at times it could get and some of the friends I had. All of this is before getting married. Just taking a look at some of the pictures from back in the day. This was taken at Rado's, just out having fun. This is a friend. These are all friends. Don't draw any conclusion from them. This is another friend. This was Junie Garrett's daughter. This is Junie's daughter, Deneen. Better known as Wendy. A friend. This is my girl, Yolanda, ex-girl. Girl I dated for many years. That was a dancer and she wound up, stopped dancing. Our relationship got so heavy. All of this is before I was married. These are the days I was sowing my royal oats. Every young man has to do that before he get married. So he's sure he's ready to get married. So I was just giving y'all a look at some of the women that I used to date and that was my friends before I got married. Just so you all can kind of get a look at how it was, what they looked like, what kind of taste a brother might have had when he was getting millions of dollars and fucking with women. You know, how it might have been. So I'm just giving y'all all the bird's eye view of what they look like, what they may have looked like. This is Artie, Ayani's mother. I had one child by her, which was Ayani. And I have to always say, this is myself. Just to show you one I had to pull up of myself, I didn't mean to. And this is another one of Yolanda. Her name is Yolanda, she was the dancer, and me and her had a relationship for many years. And did a lot of things together. But. This is a night out at Peebo's Cabaret at the Arden Hall. This is another friend, Nikki. You understand? And also, I wanted to straight something out. This is me, Mitch, and JB. That's not Ray, that's Mitch. I don't want Mitch to think I got his name wrong or forgot about him. That's me, Mitch, and JB. I just had to straighten that out so Mitch wouldn't think I didn't know who he was. And this is a picture when we was up in New York, hanging out for a weekend, having fun in Times Square. And I just wanted to give you all a look at how it was when sewing my role at Royal Oaks, running across the country, what type of women I might have been dating and looking at. I just wanted to give you all a look, because I know at times, I like to see what kind of women he date, what they look like. I know people I like that. I would be the same way. So, you know, Dan, let me see what kind of women you was dating. What, you know, you're talking all that shit. Let me see what kind of taste you had in women. So, you know, that's the only reason I showed you all that. This is the second season of Real True Street Crime. Thank you all for a very successful first season. Asking for way more blessings in the second season, way more subscribers, way more viewers. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my viewers. I keep the stories coming. As I told you all, stories this season will be about Jack Crawford, a hell of a fine big fella. About Mississippi Clay, Memphis Slim, Texas Slim. You understand, Texas Slim had the club that you all might know now in Jefferson that used to be the Nile. Back in the day, Texas Slim had that club. That club has been there many times. At one time, that club was in the movie Action Jackson with Vanity and Carl Weathers. So that club in Detroit has been through a lot, and most recently, G had it, which was the Nile, Brother G. I hope Brother G is feeling all right and is all right. Greetings to Brother G, and I hope you feel all right. Peace from Allah. If you don't, hopefully he makes you feel better soon. But just saying back, looking back on good times, having good times in the city with women and all across the city and the people in the city, and these stories will be brought to you even better in this second season. As I say, any good storytelling needs 
help at times from other people giving stories. I'm a storyteller. Any good story I'll tell and take. So as I say to y'all, Black Butch was one of the originators, truly one of the originators at 18, running with the fat man and almost got passed over because he was too young and my father didn't want to fuck with Butch because he knew his mother too well. At the time, Butch was selling pills. He was not selling drugs, Butch was hustling pills. And Ronald Garrett was the first one out of my father's crew who gave Butch a chance. And after my father found out, he had Butch hustling and Ronald Garrett got mad at Butch because he gave him, stop running, stop Ronald Garrett from fucking a woman to give him his $50,000 and Ronald Garrett fired him because of that. <laughs> so after that, he went told the fat man, give him a chance. The fat man told him, okay, now, I don't want to hear nothing from your mother. You know, that's my mama too. You know, he really felt that in his heart that Butch's mother was his mother too because as I've told y'all often, my father didn't have a mother. My father's mother died when he was two years old having his sister. Both of them passed at the same time, the sister passed coming in and his mother died having her. So it was a tragedy in his life from two years old on, all he ever knew and had was Lodge and Bull. Bull is Courtney Brown. The reason Courtney Brown was so key in, in my father's life and my father loved him so much because Courtney had been there his entire life. So when he hit it off big, he wanted to make sure Bull was right there with had a front seat right there with him because Bull had been there the whole time. So this is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crime. Just laying it down on y'all and I'm going to keep the stories coming loud and proud. You understand? And as I got to say now, please, please you all, get out and vote and vote for Joe Biden. He's the better candidate. I'm not saying he's perfect, but he's the better candidate for the times that we are in now. You understand? So Joe Biden is our candidate. I'm backing Joe Biden, and I hope you all would back him too because there's no love for you in the Republican Party and in Donald Trump's America. There is no love for black people. He won't even mention Jacob. He won't even mention the brother's name. You know he been duly shot and fucked over. But he can't even see that in his eyes. And if black people can't at least recognize that, he don't even see you. How can he be a president for you when he does not even see you? So this is Eddie Jackson Jr. saying, please get out and vote to help get us out of this coronavirus situation with a responsible leader instead of a Putin puppet. Donald Trump is nothing more than Putin's puppet. Benedict Arnold, Donald J. Trump is the greater traitor to the American people and the history books will reflect this. He is the greatest traitor to the American people ever known. No man has ever led this country with 35% worth of the population and approval rating. I thought a democracy was 51% that it took to lead this country. Now we didn't took this electoral voting and 35% of the people can leave the country while three and a half million people voted totally against you and we left out in the cold to bear whatever this white supremacist does. So I'm asking you all because I know you don't have a stomach for politics and none of that, but please get out and vote democratically Joe Biden and get us out of this jail as I always say, that we all are trapped in, the whole world. Some countries know how to clean it up better and they're more responsible. They listen to science. It's not about politics, it's about science. Let's get politics out of trying to clear up this corona situation because politics is not gonna clear this situation up. Whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, let's get out of that. Let's clear up corona. Let's be Americans and be on one page in one accord, and that one page in one accord is listening to the experts and getting us all out of this corona disaster that we are in, thanks to Moscow Mitch and the Republican Party, led by Benedict Arnold, Donald J. Trump.
Subscribe, share, and like. Thank you to all Americans. Get out and vote democratically. Joe Biden, peace and love. Thank you to all my subscribers, and I ask all my subscribers, please get out and vote. Thank you.